Hi, this is Joanne with Broadcast Sunny, and you can support this channel at any time by subscribing. Thank you. Origami goat. All right, take a piece of origami paper, fold it in half diagonally. Open up, we're gonna make the kite fold. This edge to that center font line you just made, crease. Same for the other side. Okay, now for the opposite side, you're going to take this uh, edge and take it to that center fold crease. Same for the other side. Okay, now you're gonna pull back, try to make them as evenly as possible. Let's make it a half inch. Because my back end is always um, higher up than the front end, so. This is the back legs we're making. Same for the other side, try to make it as evenly as possible. You can follow along the lines. Okay, now fold up. You're gonna fold at this where the this paper flap meets or ends. And fold back, uh, I'd say about what is that, about another half inch, three quarters inch. This is gonna be its tail, so you're gonna fold this in half. Make sure some of it is sticking out, like I said, for the tail. Um, then you're gonna fold this in half. And those are pretty evenly, that's good, because this is the front. All right, now we're going to make uh, the neck and head. So, um, I always have difficulty with its head because, it, anyway, it's going to come out this time. <laughs> so, um, we're going to fold it. You don't want to go straight up and down. You want it slightly back, go, pointing to the back, but not by much. And the front foot, which is down here, um, is where you want the one of the points of this triangle to be. So just flatten that out. And then you want to do another one that is parallel to this line. About, again, three quarters of an inch to an inch away. Okay. So now we're going to reverse fold it, but we want it to reverse fold like this one's all right because we want it to come out. This one is a mountain fold. We want to make it a valley fold. So we will open it up. You see the line. We'll gently reverse fold that. It's mountain in the inside, but it's valley here. And then the reverse fold this center crease. There. See, it's kind of pointing backwards. We still have the feet down here. All right, so now we want to reverse fold this one again on the outside. This is um, a mountain fold. We want it um, a valley fold on this side. This one's okay. So open it up and gently reverse fold it and reverse fold the center crease. There you go. See, the head points up, and that always bugs me, but what are you gonna do? Sometimes I fix it. You can go, uh, you can push this back so it's like this. I should get the angle right. See, here it's parallel, and here it's, what do you call that, obtuse? And then you can have him or her, uh, the head, more straight. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull back because I don't, right now the head is looking upward, but I don't want it to look upward. I want it to look a little bit more straight. So I'm going to pull this back and there's the ridge of the f uh, head and press there. That's it. It's looking up a little bit, but not a lot. And flip it over and see that's where this line is. So I want to pull this back to match up. 
and the ridge should be centered. Oh, that worked out great. See, you can still play around with the origami when, when uh, you have plans to do it one way. All right, so now we're going to make the snout. Um, let's see, pull back. Basically, you want it to look something like this. <laughs> so it looks like a beak, right? It's not going to be a beak. Don't worry. But you do want the nose sort of tucked in. So it's like a Z shape. There's a zigzag tucked in. And you're going to do that, those folds again, the reverse folds. But this time, you're going inside to reverse fold, and that center part will bend, but then the second zig of that zag will come out. So now it looks like it has a beak. We're going to get rid of that. Woohoo! So go back as far as you want to make the nose. Open up, and there's the nose. All right, let's make some ears, the long ears of those billy goats. Bring it in. Now, someone told me this looks like a cocker spaniel. Whatever. <laughs> you could say it's a cocker spaniel. Um, bring this point in. How far did I bring it in? It's just short of the front. And that's a point up there, and I just let it just see if they match. And his foot did not come down all the way. Okay. I'm since I'm gonna have this stand, I'm gonna press. Let me take a picture of that so you can see it beforehand. That is your origami goat. Before, I have to admit, it probably does look a little like a cocker spaniel. <laughs> if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.